Good morning world. Mike, newfound past. Back with this morning's pack and ship. <laughs> Still trying to come up with a decent title. But uh, I think it works out. Mid-morning packing eBay holds. Q&A hodgepodge. That's what it is. That's what I'm doing. Uh, did Justin's show this morning, of course. A good show this morning. And uh, I've already started on one item because I had to kind of franken box. So I got two stacked together. I still got to tape it. The item's already in there. So, yeah, that's a big one. Yesterday was surprisingly okay. I didn't expect anything. Yesterday, good morning, Maniac Picker. I didn't expect anything at all yesterday, but um, sold five things for um, five things for about 240 bucks, which, like I said, I did not expect at all because that's a pretty good day. You know, that's where I, right where I want to be. Um, of course, one of those things was a $40 item that the person, you know, off, you know, did a best offer and I accepted and they immediately requested to cancel. So, so actually about 200 bucks, but still that's okay. Morning, Glenn. Morning, Michelle. Give Glenn a wrench. I didn't realize he didn't have one. So yeah, just uh, packing up stuff. Morning, Sean. So, do you guys have any decent sales yesterday? Like I said, I didn't expect anything, and it turned out to be okay, which is, that's always a pleasant surprise when you don't expect anything, and uh, so it does happen. So, I expect everything to be pretty average from here on out, but who knows? eBay is weird. Online commerce is weird. Later on today at 3... Let me double check here. Later on today at 3.30 Eastern time, I will be on the Cincinnati, Cincinnati Pickers channel. John uh, doing a one-on-one -on -one interview with him. So you guys look out for that. I don't know. I think it's going to be live, but I don't know. If, yeah, it'll probably be live. I don't, I don't know. Go make me some coffee. Yeah. I already had my coffee this morning. I'm goose eggs for Sean. Yeah, that's a, and that's what I expected, really. Uh, I, I wouldn't have been surprised if I goose egg yesterday, so it was a pleasant surprise. See, Michelle had oddly good sales. Yeah, I know. See, it's crazy. No sales for Glenn. So it's all over the place, just like usual, you know. Yeah, it, and it's tough, Sean, with that. You know, I've, I've been coaching my sister and trying to get her into the uh, the biz and she only has about a hundred listings up. So, you know, not selling that much, but she is slowly getting better at the picking and stuff. It's hard going, especially where she lives. She lives in, in Arkansas and it's, you know, it's tough picking there. Not a lot of, uh, a lot of money in that state, except for the Walton family. So, yep. Yeah. Maniac picker also says no sales, but they only have 84 listings. Yeah. I have, let me see. I, I try to stay close to a thousand on my main account, but it's actually been more around nine hundred recently because I haven't been able to uh, keep up. Yeah, Maine, same way. You know, it's crazy. I mean, Maine, it's you know, rural, and, and but I love Maine. Yeah, you know, we go up there for vacations and stuff. So, love Maine blueberries. Love them. Oh, ooh. first sale of the day, and that's a pretty good one too. Nice. But uh, yeah, that distracted me. But I like that sound. <laughs> but yeah, I love Maine. Yeah, Mo has seventy nine, and all you guys are trying to build, and that's great. You know, we all started there when I started out. You know, trying to build my inventory because for the the decade um, when I owned my brick and mortar, I was just a very random lister. It wasn't my focus. You know, I wasn't trying to build inventory. I would just sell things here and there on eBay when I did it here three years ago, when I started with basically nothing, uh, building up inventory take, take, takes a long time, you know, not only getting the inventory, but listing it, cleaning it, testing it. You know, New Hampshire got blueberries. You're great. Yeah. <laughs> I stay away from the sugar, but when I go to Maine, I have to have blueberry pie. It is so good. <laughs> now here I settle for my, Dan knows I settle for my, uh, protein, pancakes with blueberries in them not main blueberries of course but you know you take what you can get hang on a second guys 
Dog's trying to creep off. Yeah. And I talked to the people in Maine about their blueberries, and they, they just, if people that don't know the blueberries, they're not cultivated. They're just wild blueberries, and they grow where they grow. They grow naturally in Maine, you know. So good. <laughs> Sean says his goal for the weekend is to get electronics tested, even if it's cold. And so, yeah. Man, in Northern Virginia today, I, I thought it was weird. When I got up this morning, you know, we keep it pretty cool in the house overnight because that's where we like to sleep. But uh, the house was still at like 71 degrees this morning. I'm like, what is going on? And uh, it's just warm outside today. <laughs> Northern Virginia, it's kind of uh, rainy and warm. Low truth, two hip chicks. How is, how's it going? How's it going? Maniac picker, I find early spring. We have Maine maple Sunday and get fresh maple syrup. Yep. Yep, I use sugar-free syrup. Unfortunately, I would love to use maple, but I just got to stay away from the sugar. I imagine Mo says Alaska has some wild blueberries also. I bet you. Yeah, I've, I've watched some of those shows where, you know, they'll be out hunting and they'll find blueberries and stuff. And I bet you they're fantastic, just like me. <laughs> I don't know if we if he's serious or we got a, just a new person in the chat. Die, who are you? So... Yeah, there you go. That's what I figured, Michelle. You're going <laughs> to... New Hampshire, Dan, raining cats. Yeah, it's been raining for two days here. People are weird, aren't they? Okay, so anyway, I, I sent out... I, you know, I'm probably going to keep it short this morning. I only have... I have three to package up. I sold five. The the Like I said, one of them wanted to cancel. The other one actually was able to ship out yesterday because the order came in before... Uh, just like that one that just came through, I'll be able to send that out in the mail today. Uh, but I got three that uh, I got to pack up <laughs> with the name like that you're asking for. <laughs> yep. Yep. And that's what I figured, you know, I saw that message pop up. I'm like, hmm. Yeah. Hang on just a minute. Over here. I don't know if you guys have dogs and cats, but I have dogs and cats. You know, I showed them on my channel yesterday, but I have my dogs down here with me. But my litter boxes are down here as well. And the dogs like to sniff around litter boxes. So I got to keep an eye on them. The one I'm needing the kitty treats. <laughs> Yuck. Yep. Morning, Jimmy. How's it going? Okay. Okay, so I got this Franken box started. This is gonna be loud, sorry. Well, luckily my wife has a she's working today, but she has a four day weekend essentially, because she has a Christmas Eve and Christmas off. So that's that's good. Okay, get that where it needs to be. So essentially, what I'm saying is that I won't be doing much as the next four days or so. <laughs> I, I may try to list some stuff today, but I got John's show this afternoon and uh, also vacuum the house every Friday. So I got to do that as well. People, I've talked to people about that before. My wife works full time and I'm here, you know, and this is a full time job videos, eBay, Amazon, Poshmark, all that good stuff. But I'm here, I don't have to commute. So I, I take care of, you know, most of the uh, grocery shopping and, you know, cooking and basically the domestic chores. I am the domestic marine. But it's only fair. She works a very stressful job. Um, yeah, I'm not going to get political. <laughs> I could get political about that, but I'm not going to because that's my rule. Okay. What shipping outage? Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, you'll see. <laughs> Sean, uh, Sean asked what shipping out that you had to make a box. Um, uh, you'll see in a, in a sold video, I do this. I usually don't show, you know, unless you catch a glimpse of it or whatever, but, uh, 
I usually don't show in these videos. I show in the what sold videos, and you'll probably see this in the next week or two. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll die too. Here you go. There's another one, Michelle. I could do it myself, but I like to see Michelle ban people. <laughs> uh, maniac says i'll be wrapping christmas packs just say yeah that's awesome i gotta oh man now that you say that i gotta well i know they won't be get to uh family in time but i got a couple of things that needs to go out as well is it dan s is it ceramic christmas tree nope that went out you know a couple weeks ago uh, that ceramic christmas tree i listed it it was in this old video that i pop this morning go watch that if you haven't um the ceramic christmas tree i listed and it sold like the same day or the next day you know and i packed it up and uh yeah went out that's got yeah i, I have to resist the temptation sean I'm, i won't do it because we all have our opinions but i'm not going to do it and the thing about i mean this isn't political but my opinions are based on my time in the military, life experience, and my wife works for the government, so she sees it on the inside. Yeah, so we know just a little bit more than just shown on uh, what people see on their TV and on Reddit and stuff. Need a crazy card. Morning might what, feel the burn? Yeah, maybe. So, but all, all, you know, like I said, it's not political, but when you see stuff from the inside, it would, uh, enlighten a lot of people. But what you, what all, all I'm going to say is what you see on the news is not always what, you know, is the case and not saying fake news, not saying anything. I think all of them try to do a decent job for the most part, except for the opinion shows. But, uh, yeah, my, my opinion on it is if you want to get uh, your news, uh, read the Associated Press. And that's it. <laughs> Don't watch network news. Uh, read the Associated Press. Yeah. Morning, Glenn. I would invite you in, Glenn, but I think I'm just going to keep it myself. Keep it pretty short, you know, and uh, everybody. Yep. <laughs> this guy's relentless, Michelle. Thought Michelle would jump on him, but uh Oh there she goes, she got him. I don't understand people like that, really. Anyway guys, 28 watching, hit that thumbs up, people. Appreciate it. Whammo bammo. Yeah. Okay, I'll give you one. There you go, two hip chicks, moderator. That's possible, Mo. <laughs> Mo says the messed up thing is probably someone you know. Maybe. <laughs> it's crazy. I think people are off work and out of school and stuff, so they have nothing to do except for uh, come into a small type U YouTuber channel and stir things up. Pretty pathetic life. You know, it's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna finish packing these up. So I got this all taped up. I gotta tape up the outside here. I right, gotta see where this is going because I like doing these videos because it shows my shipping process and it shows me, you know, the, the process and comparing shipping services. Compared to what a, an item is, where it's going, and all that stuff. So, and I hope, hopefully, it's a little bit helpful. It may or may not be, but it is what it is. I know these. I mean, I'm going to be transparent about it. These live videos help with watch hours like you wouldn't believe. And we enjoy them too, like our working hangouts. We like doing them, and we hope everyone enjoys them. Yeah. 
Oh, yesterday, yesterday, Justin helped me figure out my Amazon affiliate links or associate links, and I did a video about it yesterday too, kind of like what you should get for Christmas for your flipper. <laughs> I should have did it a few days ago, but yesterday I'm sitting there, I'm going, huh, there's some things I would like too, you know, surely you guys have stuff you would like, so. So all the uh, links are in the will be in the description of the video, and you know, of course, we get a little bit of a few pennies off of that. So I'd appreciate it if you. And I've got everything in there from stuff I use to stuff I recommend. Uh, you know, from the thermal printers to tape to tape dispensers to to mannequins, torsos, bubble wrap. The bubble wrap I buy, <laughs> it's all on there. So yeah. Yeah, I'll leave them open with the log burning a full eight hours. Probably, I, probably, I could log in on my, uh, you know, my wife's laptop or something. But yeah. But anyway, okay. So this one's all taped up, ready to go. It's not a bad Franken box, you know. It's just a stacked one. You know, I just took one box and stacked it on top of the other. See what shit doesn't weigh a ton, but I may have to put that on the floor because my desk space is uh, yeah, put that on the floor a little bit bigger of a box. Let's see what she comes in at nine pounds, six ounces, nine pounds, and six ounces. I definitely won't be able to do cubic on this because of the size, but it remains to be seen if it's FedEx or uh, Postal Service. So let's see. Okay, nine pounds, six ounces. And the buyer's note was, was to be a gift for my grandson. Well, Grandpa, I hope it gets to you. It's just going to South Carolina, so it may get to him. You never can tell. Since it's for his grandson, I mean, I'd probably send it priority mail anyway, but I'd definitely send it priority mail. Because FedEx ground probably would not get there. 21, 16, and 12. 21, 16, and 12. And I did calculate the shipping on this item because it was big and I knew it would cost. So I uh, did calculate the shipping. And, uh, yep, pretty good. Definitely priority mail. Priority mail, $11.12, South Carolina. Send it out to the grandson. All right, first one coming up. The uh, I, I'm sure y'all, all you guys heard it, the negative feedback saga. Heard that story, but uh, so I called eBay. And of course, there's still a, the return request is still open, even though the person said they're going to keep it. And eBay said, well, they have to close the return request before we can do anything. Okay, fine. You know, this person's already gotten snippy with me. And honestly, I got snippy with them because they left that negative feedback when they shouldn't have. So I contact them. I said, you know, I'll talk to eBay. You have to return, the you know, close the return request. And uh, I'd appreciate it if you, since the item is working, to you know, remove or revise the negative feedback, and yeah, I don't know if they can't figure it out or or if they just don't want to. But the negative was still there this morning, so I'm not too worried about it though. Because one, yeah, whatever. I did a snarky, you know, you can respond to feedback, and I did a snarky response to it too. So just you know, when you get older, you don't want to put up with that BS. If it was a justified negative, I'd have no problem with it, but it was not justified at all. So, <laughs> Craig, big box for a coffee mug. Yeah, 
That'd be a big coffee mug, wouldn't it? That Sean has a Staples 15% off coupon. That's awesome. You get some. Yeah, I've I've ordered some bigger boxes from Staples before. They were the best price. <laughs> Mr. Sadie, and, and if it would have been further out, Mr. Sadie, that probably would have been FedEx. But since I'm in Virginia and it's just going to South Carolina, priority mail all the way. And since it was too big for Cubic, but it was only 11 bucks anyway. So, yeah. And they paid shipping. So. <laughs> Got to watch that inebriated shopping, Jimmy, ordering those targets. I hope so, Sean. I hope they get it for Christmas and the grandson will be happy. They're not giving up. He's up to die eight now. So, yeah. Yeah, Mo, and Mo was talking about how ship messed up shipping. It can be. You can like I had a mug that I shipped to Texas that got there in a day, but you know I'll ship uh, something to Pennsylvania, which is right north of me, and it won't get there for three days. You know, it's just different areas. If it's if it's a a city or if it's very rural, that's good. Craig selling some stuff on Facebook Marketplace. I need to up that game a little bit. I got a couple of pieces of furniture in my garage that I can't get to right now that I need to put on Facebook Marketplace. And Craig, negative feedback season. Apparently it is, you know, you get all the people out Christmas shopping that don't normally eBay and you know, really don't get it, you know, because there's a line that negative feedback is deserved, but, um, Professional sellers really don't cross it. I didn't cross it for sure. So, <laughs> Tommy, I get stupid back with people. Yeah, if they start it, Tommy, I will too. I just can't, you know, tolerate it. You know, after owning a brick and mortar a retail store for 10 years, the customer is not always right. And that's the bottom line. You know, and I can, you know, probably less than five times in 10 years, I had to actually kick someone out of my store, but I will, and I have, and I did. You know, you know, of course, I had security cameras in my store and uh, one guy tried to claim I assaulted him and I you know the cops came and everything. I'm like, I got it on video, showed the cops a video and they laughed and laughed. They were like, actually, that guy broke the law because once you told him to leave and he didn't, he was trespassing. I'm like, there you go. Go arrest him. <laughs> yeah. Yep, too old for it. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier too, Hip Chicks, on Justin's channel, the the low-value items and the negatives. It's crazy. At least this item was 80 bucks, but still. It's funny how they changed their tune, went from not working to working in a matter of an hour after I called them out. The Tommy buy, Best Buy one day Apple sells $800 off high-end MacBooks. Hmm, that's interesting. Anybody looking for a MacBook? I think... uh. Justin's looking for one, actually, but he's not in here. My first, about a week ago, was on a $20 book sent to Puerto Rico. Crazy. Yeah, Mo, you sent it padded flat rate in the 17th and a... You know, depending on what the tracking says, Mo, you want, may want to put a, a package search on that. You know, the sooner the better. Because the worst case, it's just delivered. But, I mean, the best case, it's just delivered. Worst case, they get on that search quicker, you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Pack up another thing. Got the big one, the Franken box packed up. 14 windows here. Okay, what do we got next? I got the jacket hanging up over here that I'm going to send out. Use my priority mail tape that my, my uh, mail carrier hooked me up with. Joe is the best. 
I gave Joe this Christmas gift yesterday, my mail carrier, because that dude takes care of me all year. So kicking some cash. Postal service technically only allows like $20 cash or gift card or whatever in value to your carrier for Christmas. But, you know, I handed him 50 bucks and said, you know, this is for me and the neighbors. Neighbors. <laughs> he laughed. <laughs> Because he's a rule follower and I am too. We're both. He's a Navy vet and I'm a Marine vet. But uh, he deserves more than 20 bucks. That dude works hard. He's always nice. Just a good, good dude. My subs, on the other hand, you know, they're okay. But uh, mm, a couple of them are not good. You always pick stuff out of the hook and loop. <laughs> Velcro people. I always give the stuff the good once over before I ship it, make sure it's still clean and nice. Velcro catches every fiber that comes near it. So I just pick it out. I got to keep fingernails. Okay, now we're good to go. See, so like you saw that item, but I'm not going to say how much it sold for or what I gave for it over there. So, this is going to go in a 12 by 12 by 8 priority mailbox. And I've told people before, like, if you're going to do this, you know, and I don't have a, you know, a poly bag big and carrying you know, away. A cello bag big enough, but uh, this box will cover the jacket crossways so you don't have to line anything. If your flaps are going the same way, somebody use a razor knife, it'll cut the jacket. But this one's okay because it goes crossways. That's what I like about these boxes. Okay. I believe this one's going to Tennessee. I like the priority metal tape. It sticks really well. It's kind of like 3M tape. I bought some this clear packing tape at Walmart on clearance, and it was Duck brand, and that stuff doesn't stick really well. This stuff. I got the. I mean, I got it cheap, so I'm not too complaining too much, but. You know, I paid like $2 for this whole pack on clearance at Walmart. That stuff doesn't stick well at all. But I'll use it up. Waste not, what not. You know, type of deal. Okay. Let's see what this thing weighs. Three pounds, five ounces. Three pounds, five ounces to Clarksville, Tennessee. Twelve by twelve by eight it is eight dollars and forty three cents. Deal. Okay. Got to find my, my belt for my jeans. I've misplaced my belt somewhere. My jeans are falling off. <laughs> Don't want that to happen. Okay. You guys talking about... Yeah, Sean used to be able to order. We talked, yeah. So when uh, I was talking to my mail carrier, Joe, about that, and you're like, man, you remember, I, you know, used to be able to get this for free, you know, order it. And he goes, oh, I'll bring you some. And he did. He brought me four rolls. 
So he's just a good dude. Yeah, and that maniac pick, that's what I usually do. I usually actually put a Tyvek envelope or a piece of cardboard if there's room. Yeah, Glenn, it does suck. It does. Like I said, the only reason I bought it is because it was so cheap, and I regret it. Uh, I usually buy a 3M packing tape from Costco. It's uh, It goes on sale every once in a while, and it's really good tape. So, Yep, Duck Brand has issues. It definitely does. <laughs> it's a, a Dymo 4XL, Jimmy. I have that link in my affiliate links. It's actually the top one, the Dymo. 4XL thermal label printer. It is turbo charge. That thing is awesome. Heard good things about the Rolo printer as well. So, yeah, I use the duct tape to keep jeans up. Okay. Sorry, I haven't been able to keep up with the chat. Just a uh, ranting to myself. So what do we got next? Uh, we got this video game. I listed it and this sold pretty much instantly. I, I rarely find good video games in my area. But uh, the one I listed was, it was in my haul video last week. Uh, so you see that, you know what it is. But uh, listed it and sold in a day or two. So it's going to Alaska. In the box. I forgot which box. I don't have any like good DVD size boxes. Could use a padded envelope, but since it's going to Alaska, should probably box it. Hmm. If I sold a lot of games and DVDs and stuff, I would uh, get specific boxes, but I just don't. I mean, I have, I, I usually send all those DVD seasons I found to. Uh, a local source to sell, but um, thinking about just selling them online because they haven't been you know, that great. Anyway, game, I'll figure that out. Good morning, Gate City Picker. <laughs> Send you a roll, Glenn. It is. It's, it, that's why I tell people, Glenn, is like I was really stoked when my carrier gave me those because, you know, the clerks are usually pretty stingy with it unless you have a really good relationship with them. Yeah. yeah the Dymo, uh, Jimmy, is a thermal printer, so you don't have to deal with the ink. So a lot of people, if you ship a lot of packages, the, the Dymo the label printers pay for themselves because no ink cost. So yeah, gotta pack it up. 32 watching, pretty good. Not up to Justin standards, <laughs> but really good. You guys are awesome. Hit that thumbs up. Appreciate it. Yeah, the Mo Flips. I have the DVD box from USPS. Yeah, this is gonna be either first class or yeah, this will be first class because it's light enough. You know, it's going to Alaska too, so I got to stick with first class. Yeah, a thermal. That's a, that's what the thermal is, Jimmy. It's a thermal label printer. It's like a heat printer. Save you a ton of money in ink. Tons of money. Okay, I'm gonna find a box for this. Okay, I may have to reuse a box, which I don't like to do typically. I reuse an Amazon box, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Yeah, that's a little bit overkill, but I think that'll work. Just using the eight by six by four box. I know that's light enough to keep it first class. I don't know if it's big enough though. Yeah, that'll work. Let's just do that. Instead of trying to hunt around forever, he wastes five minutes hunting for a box when, you know, time is money. Let's just get it out the door. Got the box for free with my shipping coupon anyway. Well, it's not really free because we're paying store fees, but uh, 
still. I am going to throw some bubble wrap in this. Give me a stretch of bubble wrap. I did calculated shipping on this as well since it was new. So they did pay for shipping. So they're going to get good service. Not that it wouldn't anyway. I pack it the same regardless. Okay. Third package. The one out. That's probably eight, ten ounces or so. Nine ounces. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. Three dollars and thirty-four cents all the way to Sol Donta, Alaska. That's a good deal. That is a good deal. Okay, forgot the that sale I just had. I forgot to transfer the money out, so that package I just did came out of my PayPal money. Don't like to do that. I want to charge my credit card, so I got to transfer this money. Okay. Done. Go ahead and ship that other item that's that sold while we're alive. Gotta grab it here. I think it's up top. I did this when we were doing like a working thing out, and people were like, "What in the world are you doing?" Right above me is a bunch of storage bins and racks and stuff. You know. Yep. And this item is right up here. Okay, I'm gonna grab some bubble wrap. Let's see where this one's going. This one's going to <laughs> this one's going right up the road from me. Falls Church, Virginia. Isn't that funny? Okay. There's a box here. How do you get out here? Mm. My stitches giver tape dispenser. I have two date tape dispensers. I put the pro since he gave me the priority, I put it on the stitches giver in a Put the regular clear stuff on the big black tape dispenser. Hope you guys have a fun and fulfilling Christmas. My wife and I are just gonna hang out. I got a, uh, I bought a prime rib. We're gonna cook for Christmas. Have roasted prime rib. I'm gonna cook that myself. And uh, do some bean, green bean casserole. Maybe some. Uh, Corn casserole, maybe.
So for all the people that came in the chat recently, this afternoon at 3.30, I'll be live on Cincinnati Picker, John, the Cincinnati Pickers channel, doing a one-on-one -on -one interview. Make sure to check that out. I appreciate John doing that a lot. He's helping. He's trying to uh, help me with the push to a thousand subscribers. I was like at seven thirty or something like that this morning. I forget. So I've already hit my watch hours. So one pound four ounces. And I just prefer the classic sh shipping page. I don't know about you guys. That new one, you have to scroll down too far. Basically, the classic shipping page, everything's right here. I don't have to scroll down. The other one, you have to scroll down for all the options, and it's just not user-friendly because time matters. Uh, $6.89 sold. It's a deal. That's why, like I said, it's funny. It's going right up the road, but, you know. It's how the world works. Take that sale for sure. Since they're right up the road, they'll probably get that tomorrow. Okay. That was the last item. I'll take more though. If that phone wants to cha-ching right now, I will stay down here. If it wants to cha-ching all day, I'll stay down here packing stuff. So, until the mailman gets here. It's four pretty good packages. Loud. Okay, let's see what. Whoops. I think the trash can's full. Two hip chicks, the classic page, my favorite. Yeah, me too. That, like I said, that new one, you just got to scroll down. I just don't, I don't like it. Yeah, yeah, Glenn, I agree with you. Don't put too much uh, cream of mushroom. It'll, have, you know, I prefer the, uh, you don't want to drown the green beans, essentially. You know, I don't think so anyway. Let me see here. Let's see what I missed. Yeah, two hip chicks. Like, we usually do ham, but this year I asked my wife, and she's like, I want prime rib. So prime rib it is. Went and bought one at Costco just the other day. And I love prime rib, so, yeah. Yeah, Jimmy, I wish I could have sugar, apple, and cherry pie. I, I would eat all different versions of pies. <laughs> I make an exception only on Thanksgiving uh, for sugar because I have to have some pumpkin pie and pecan pie. So once a year. Yeah. Jimmy, my, uh, you know, my wife does the editing on my soul videos and she does that little cha-ching sound at the front and people are like, oh, you freaked me out. I thought I had a sale. <laughs> yeah. Glenn's doing a fried turkey. That's awesome. I love fried turkey. Okay. Well... Unless anybody has any other questions or anything, I guess that's really it. Uh, like I said, later today with John, the Cincinnati picker, uh, we're going to do our normal thrifting this weekend. A uh, bunch of sales will be on the closer you get to Christmas, the thing, you know, more things, the discount. So yeah, I guess that's really it guys. I appreciate it. All you guys hit the thumbs up. All the new subscribers are awesome, dude. All you guys are great. And our patrons as well. I don't think any are in here, but uh, you guys, it makes me feel very warm and fuzzy inside that people appreciate what we do. So that's it, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks. We'll see you. I won't do anything uh, I'm doing this afternoon. So I'll see you there, maybe. Thanks.